Hi everyone. So I'm here today to just basically demonstrate the use of um, an RFID reader as a localized tracking device. So I'm just going to show you my setup. Here I have an Arduino microcontroller. Um, these two servos don't do anything right now. They're normally for a pan and tilt system. And under here on my robot, I actually have an RFID reader slash writer. So essentially the way the system works is as it passes one of these beacons, one of these points, um, my intention is to just identify where it is using a graphical user interface uh, connected to, of course, they're all wireless connected via a transmitter and receiver um, over on this end, transmitter and the receiver on this end. So I'm going to fire my system up. Okay. All right. So here we go. So the first thing that my system will ask is the number of beacons, the number of points. In this case, as you can see here, I've got three um, RFID tags. So that'll be three beacons. Okay. Next, it's going to tell you to visually plot each one. So because they're all, you know, relatively in a line, I'm just going to, you know, plot something that's roughly a line. And essentially, I'm just using the keys that I have over on the side here as well as an OK key to just confirm. OK, so now that I have the map, now it's asking me for the ID of each tag. So each RFID tag has a unique serial number. In addition, you can also record data um, onto the other sectors of each RFID key fob or tag. In this case, I'm just keeping it simple. So I just took the first um, number of the actual serial number. In total, each RFID tag has four um, numbers uh, that comprise of the entire serial number. So I'm just taking the first one of each. And so for the blue one, so I'm identifying as point one, that's actually ID number uh, 252. The next one is 222. That's the gray one that you see over here. So And last but not least, the white tag that you see here, that's uh, 110. And so once you've plotted all of these, um, I'll show you in a bit what the GUI interface will do. Okay, so now it's plot three points, as you can see here, which roughly resemble what I have here. So the idea is, once you have your infrastructure in place, then you can easily track your mobile vehicle that you have here. Now, as I said before, if, um, if I didn't mention actually, I mentioned that these weren't working. Currently my drive circuit isn't working on my robot, so all I'm going to do is just move my rover uh, right over these points to show you. So over the blue point, you'll see here, it's telling me it's at the first point. And again, likewise, at the second point, telling me it's over there. And at the third, it's localizing on the third point. And it doesn't matter, I can go back, of course, in the gray, and reverse. No order in particular, I can jump all the way to the end, and it'll track at the very end. So there you have it, just using RFID just uh, as a way to track a vehicle. It's good if your infrastructure is already defined, um, let's say if you're, you know, driving a vehicle underground and your vehicle happens to get, you know, caught in something, um, you would know exactly where it is. Even if the battery dies, you'd be able to plot the data and know where it was tracked uh, last, at least. So, thank you for watching my video. And again, this is my setup. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Bye.